I'm so weird. What the heck? It is literally so late at night. So late to me. It's probably not late to you, but it is currently 7.55. That is late because I'm supposed to be asleep. So yeah, anyway, I am deciding to impulsively do my oil treatment right now. Why do I keep doing all this peace sign stuff? But I like it. Peace, love, happiness. So, I don't even know why I put my hair up in a bonnet if my hair, if I didn't even do my night hair routine. I do have like a night hair routine now. Don't you guys hate that when you take your bonnet off, there's like a line on your head? Anyway, so y'all know your girl trying to grow her hair down to like my angle. So, basically, I'm about to go ahead and do some hair care. I'm about to go ahead and do my oil treatment before I go to bed because I was supposed to do it earlier, but I'm like, actually, I'm tired. Like, I had a really long day with school and everything, and I didn't have any time to myself because I had editing school, babysitting all types of stuff going on yeah but i am definitely gonna go ahead and do this oil treatment i don't care what type of hair texture you have i still suggest doing this um so like i don't care if you have straight wavy curly coily whatever it is i still suggest um doing like oil treatments and everything because i have definitely noticed a very big change in my hair like with growth with overall healthiness like with everything and i just definitely suggest it so i'm not a very big like precise person when it comes down to like my parts i just section my hair into four and then i oil every single part from the scalp all the way down to the ends and so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys see how i do my oil treatment i don't know what it is but i really like doing vlogs because it's like i can be on facetime with my best friend kind of like it's like being on facetime kind of like i get to talk to you guys like what's going on i'm actually really tired but i really just need to get this done and i don't want to procrastinate it anymore after i get done doing my oil treatment i'm gonna go ahead and insert the part of me cleaning my room because i actually just literally just got done cleaning my room these clips do not want to come out weirdo box so i got my clips that i bought on my recent vlog if you guys watch my recent vlog you already know what i'm gonna be using to do my oil treatment i made this oil in my recent vlog and i showed you guys everything that i put inside of it so i'm really excited about this you guys but basically i went ahead and cleaned my room and even though i had no energy how would i even clip my hair up i'm not really good at hair like hair stuff like i need to get more educated on this stuff but i guess i'm just gonna like clip it up i'm just gonna go ahead and like pin all four sections up that i'm gonna be doing and then go from there and i basically just like braid them down I am so excited to go ahead and start using this oil like it's literally I already know that it's gonna really for real benefit my hair and make my hair grow so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this in for two days I wash my hair every Thursday I've been trying to wash my hair less because you know it might be stunting my growth but girl you know we gotta do what we gotta do because this hair growth journey is very serious when it comes to summertime I want my hair to be for real for real long so I'm trying to speed up the process by doing oil treatments masks washing it less you know doing what I have to do and I have a whole nighttime hair care routine that I do every single night and it has definitely been helping my hair another thing that i like with putting oil in my hair is when it comes down to wash day it's very easy to detangle it with my hands with my fingers because it's already de detangled from the oil i like to wear a shirt that i don't really care about because most of the time the oil somehow gets on my shirt i also just want to go ahead and like address something really quickly because i seen a girl talking about it on tiktok and i was just so happy that somebody finally spoke out about it bonnets are not just for african-american and biracial girls bonnets are really good for the hair period they are gonna really for real benefit your hair and keep your hair more healthy i literally do not care what your ethnicity is if you want to wear a bonnet i don't think it's that big of a deal like if it's gonna benefit your hair like if you're just wearing it just to like be someone that you're not you know that's not really cool but if you're doing it because you really just want to like get into hair health and you really just want to get into benefiting your hair i don't think it's that big of a deal i feel like talk uh, what i feel like tiktok is so toxic and it literally there's a lot of gatekeeping going on on there do not get me wrong i do believe that some things are wrong like i just feel like some things you're just like wait a minute you know exactly what you're doing but then things like doing your edges or wearing a bonnet i just don't think it's that big of a deal especially if you're just trying to benefit your hair like i don't care like if you go get your hair done and you go get it flat iron wearing a bonnet is gonna help keep it silky and keep it nice and smooth and that goes for everybody you know like i just don't think it's that big of a deal yo these clips are making this process so much easier i got these clips from marshall's you guys they are popping wait a minute
you guys so I'm officially all done I'm just gonna go ahead and put like a little bit more oil on the ends of my hair like the ends of my hair need a lot more love you know put a little extra love on them so I'm gonna go ahead and clip all this hair up and then I always put it in a trash bag to like store some heat if that makes sense because I always notice that like if I put it up in a trash bag I get way more heat on the scalp than if I don't and I also notice that it doesn't leak through the bonnet and get all over my dang pillowcases and everywhere like it really helps with that so I go ahead and just put a trash bag on my head and then I get a scrunchie and tie the trash bag back works like a charm my old treatment is done and this will be in for like the next day and a half like two days if I would have done it earlier it would have been two days now I am able to go to sleep and my hair is gonna be getting together I hope I'm not calling this an oil treatment it's not even an oil treatment this is Chloe has me oil treatment this probably ain't even a real oil treatment because I'm not heating it up but I don't really care I call this an oil treatment because I leave it in for so many days and I literally sat saturate my hair in oil y'all see how much oil I use I didn't probably have to use that much but I do like just for my mind to be at ease knowing that I did get it everywhere because I always be scared when you put a nozzle all over your scalp I be worrying like is did it get everywhere so that I'm having full growth you know let me tell y'all right now get some adjustable bonnets if you were tired of your bonnets flying off at nighttime mine never come off I used to never wear them because they always fell off at nighttime but I got hit to these adjustable ones look up adjustable bonnets on Amazon girl get you some adjustable bonnets they will not come off adjust them to your head it's the best decision I ever made so I'm about to go ahead and enter the clip of me clean my room and then I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys later after I get out of school and everything and we're gonna have a nice little day campaign You say the universe is doing things I say God is out here doing things You say astrology will give you keys I say the Lord will give me all I need Fruits of the spirit, God will give me peace Who am I to judge? Other human beings When? We just trying to figure out life We just trying to figure out life We just trying to figure out this life We just trying to figure out life we just tryna figure out how to live life. Boy, you got Quran. Some say a prophet, I say the son. Some rub with Buddha, Hindu or Islam. I guess it depends on where you coming from. Some people gay, some people straight, some people love, some people hate, some people build and some people break. I guess really what I'm trying to say that people are people that's good and that's evil. Some natives, some foreign, some call them illegal. I call them my people. We all down here surviving, all down here relying on something bigger than ourselves. Hey. How we gon' judge somebody else? Huh? Listen, human nature has us all messed hey. up. Gotta start spreading all the hate and bring the rest. Oh. Up. Ain't nobody perfect, we are trying to give our best. Yeah. Gotta stop that judging stuff. Start loving. You say the universe is doing things I say God is out here doing things You say astrology will give you keys I say the Lord will give me all I need Fruits of the spirit, God will give me peace Who am I to judge? Other human beings When We just trying to figure out life We just trying to figure out life We just trying to figure out this life We just trying to figure out life we just tryna figure out how to make it feel good when you put someone lower than you. Don't it? Go take a walk in the shoes. Hold it. It ain't always what it looks like. That grass ain't greener on the other side. We a product of the madness, and we a product of the sadness. All this murder's getting savage. All this death is looking ass. Sometimes I walk around with a plank in my eye, looking at that speck of dust that I see in your eyes. Sometimes I do a lot of judging. I can't sit here and lie. Sometimes I must admit I've been a terrible guy. But I know that I'm human. I know I ain't perfect. I know every day it gets hard and you're hurting. Scarred and you're searching. To ease that pain. Give a little love to somebody. We all one in the same. Hey, you say the universe is doing things. I say God is out here doing things. You say astrology will give you keys. I say the Lord will give you Before I go ahead and end off cleaning my room, I wanted to go ahead and thank everybody for sending me letters in my P.O. box. If you left your email 
on the letter. I did go ahead and respond to you in my email and I am so thankful. I had one of my subscribers send me a bunch of these cute wax melts. I am so excited. They smell so good. I also had a subscriber with a beautiful business, www.lavishbutters.com, send me some of her luxurious skincare and she wants me to go ahead and review it. I'm going to try my best to get to reviewing them. First of all, look how cute her packaging is. It comes with a beautiful little cute wooden spoon. It comes with a peach bellini body scrub, a lemon pong cake body scrub. Beautiful body butter. Look how beautiful that is. It's like a beautiful ombre and then it comes with a cute little strawberry body scrub sample. I am so excited to go ahead and use these and when I do use them, I will make sure to go ahead and let you guys know how I like them. I am so grateful, girl. You are doing your thing. Your packaging is so cute and you are doing an amazing job. Just by looking at them. I can't say how I like the products because I have not tried them, but I can definitely tell that you're putting like a lot of love and work into the overall appearance. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Oh my gosh. Like, I don't even know how I get up every single morning and go to school. Like, I don't even know. Sometimes I have to question myself, like, you are a G. Because this early wake up stuff literally seems impossible, but I just got done cleaning out my cup. I'm about to go ahead and start making this TikTok coffee that I've been seeing everywhere, like on TikTok, and I really want to make it. And I need some energy, so I'm about to go ahead and make it. They had mason jars, but they were like, you had to buy a whole bunch of them. And I'm like, no, I don't have space for that so I just got one little glass cut for like a dollar. Mm -hmm. and we are done yes ma'am it's like a lot of sugar but i mean who cares it's early in the morning and i need myself to be hyped for school all right i'm about to go ahead and try this little coffee mm, this is pretty fire this coffee is actually really good see this right here this right here is definitely something to look forward to when waking up for school like without a doubt. It's like I just went to Starbucks. Like why not just make it at home? This is fire. So basically every kid in my grade has to get up early this morning to do like practice testing or whatever. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today and I'm excused from all of my other classes because it's just one class that's gonna be going all day for my grade. And no, I'm not excited about it, like now. But after I get out of school, we're gonna be doing some cool stuff. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys after I get out of school because I gotta hop into my books. And I really like sweet coffee. That's why this is really good. And I see like people coming for people on TikTok, like you're not even drinking coffee. Like you have all that creamer and you have all that, like, shut up. You know what, shut up. People can drink what they wanna drink. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You drink what you wanna drink. They can drink what they want to drink, and I want to drink what I want to drink. People always got something to say. It don't make no sense to me. I don't get it. Because, like, yes, I, I disagree with a lot of stuff people do, but is it my place to tell you what to do with your life and your body? No. I'll give some advice. Take it or leave it, girl. Talk to you after school. Okay, you guys, so I have, like, a little bit of a break, so I'm going to go ahead and quickly do some skincare. I'm going to go ahead and put on a sheet mask for, like, 15 minutes and then hop right back into testing. But I'm literally on my knees right now to make sure that you guys can see me. So if you guys keep up with my videos, you already know that my girl Monica be sending me all types of stuff all the way out from New Zealand. She is one of my subscribers, and she is just so generous. So she sent me more packages to my P.O. Box, and I'm going to go ahead and go to my P.O. Box today. I'm going to go ahead and do one of the sheet masks that she sent me. I have been loving the sheet masks that she sent me. I cannot wait till I get out of school today you guys because I want to enjoy the rest of my dang day all right so now I gotta go ahead and quickly put on this face mask and get right back into testing and honestly I'm probably gonna have it on way more for 15 way longer than 15 minutes because I have to do like testing and I don't want to have to like stop to take off a sheet mask so I'm probably gonna have it on for like a half an hour but who cares it's probably gonna be more beneficial maybe not and I literally have been loving doing these dang sheet masks. They are just super cool. I always get super excited when I get to put on a sheet mask. And they're super moisturizing. Every single time that I take one off, like my skin is literally just glowing. So love that. Back to reality. Okay, you guys. So your girl is now in the beauty supply store. I'm actually just shopping around for some hair care products because I want to like organize all of my new hair care products in my room today. So I'm going to bring you guys with me along in the beauty supply store. There, I'm seeing like a lot of different things that I really want to get and some things that I've never seen either. So I'm about to go ahead and flip the camera around to show you guys. So I've definitely been needing these little like distributor bottles when I do my oil treatments in my hair. And these work really good. And they were way more expensive on Amazon. So like beauty supply stores have them for way cheaper. I literally spent like $5 on one and they have them here for $1.50. Literally, that's crazy. So I'm gonna grab this one and this one both for my oil treatments. 
this is super cool i'm seeing an olive oil leave-in conditioning spray to detangle the hair i need more detanglers for my hair because my hair can get pretty tangled up so this is perfect i'm gonna go ahead and grab that i kind of want to try eco style out again i haven't used eco in forever so i kind of want to try this out i've actually never tried this gold one i remember when it first came out and like eco style was like super popular and like everybody was flipping out about it and they were also flipping out about the cannabis sativa oil and black castor oil this one actually does work pretty good and it has a nice little smell to it but i'm gonna pick up this one because i haven't used it in so long i cannot be the only kid whose mom used do grow grown up on my hair and pink lotion and i did not know that they had that they had a detangler you guys i have always loved do grow and a lot of people talk crap about it now they also talk crap about grease but i'm like wasn't all of our hair thriving when we were younger when our mom used to put like grease and stuff in it and style it for school so i'm gonna go ahead and, and try out this triple strength detangler man i really miss do grow i'm like you use the pink one growing up right mm -hmm. what is this style setting spray this looks super cool i've never seen this anywhere wait a dang minute this is so cool eco came out with a styling cream and look how pretty it is that is nuts wow i would have never thought in a million years that is super cool the good finds hands down literally some of the best hair brushes are the ones you get from the beauty supply store for like a buck it's so crazy because they're literally like the best love these they got all types of stuff look at they have nice combs yeah i need to get a rat tail for like when i'm parting my hair so it'll be easier and then what else do they have oh i love these combs these are my favorite i'm gonna get the full baby blue set so cute got the full set of baby blue they have new lip glosses wow honey shea butter and vitamin e this is so cool i love these lip glosses sis so your girl just got home about to go ahead and wash my bonnets i'm about to show you guys how i wash my bonnets i actually do not put them in the washer because i don't always have laundry to do so i just wash them in my sink i only have three to wash but because oil gets all in them and i just don't like all the buildup it's honestly a really good idea to use shampoo but i actually use the baby unscented pure cast off soap because it works really good like it really just strips all of the oils from the bonnet so i have my little sink i'm gonna go ahead and fill it up with some pretty hot water like i like to use really hot water i plug the sink and then i'm gonna go ahead and put my baby cast out soap all in the sink let it fill up a little bit let it get like a little bit soapy and then i just start adding my bonnets in there and i actually let them soak for like a half an hour and just let all the oil get out of it but i like to make sure that they are clean i do not like a dirty bonnet i don't like dirty anything honestly all right so now i'm just gonna go ahead and let them soak like this for like a half an hour and i'll come back and hopefully the water is dirty it actually is very satisfactory oh wow look it's actually a little dirty right there it's very satisfying satisfying to see like the water get dirty so that you know that the bonnets are actually clean so i just let them go ahead and soak and if it's a brand new bonnet then the color will most likely come off like this is a brand new bonnet i haven't even washed it yet but i needed it because it's like the only one that i have clean actually no i do have some over there but i really wanted to wear it because it's cute and it's pink it's like dark under here like the color because they're like reversible it will that color will come off in the water so like this black one i had a lot of color come off in the water the other day because it is brand new and it's not pre-washed so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and let those soak anyway girl so i'm about to go ahead and order organize my new little um hair care products or whatever so what i need to do is take off a bunch of this stuff over here because i bought a three tier storage organizer and i'm about to go ahead and organize my products because i don't really have any space for my main hair care products and i do not like that so we're gonna make space because i'm all about making space for something you know i'm always having to make space for something shout out to my girl from church she bought me these two hair oils oh crap if you look up three tier storage organizer it's gonna come up it's a white one and it's like 39 dollars bow perfect and then i'm just gonna go ahead and put it up there yes ma'am we're gonna put a bunch of hair care products on there so i'm about to go ahead and set you guys up and we're gonna get that junk filled up girl look at us we're about to go ahead and organize this hair care so i have tons of hair oils like i have all of these hair oils y'all know i'm big into hair oils because we gotta make sure that our hair is popping okay no matter what hair type you have this one actually cannot fit under here so i'm gonna have to put it up here but i'm gonna go ahead and put all of my little hair oils under here i've been using this little rice water stuff you know you know let's get it popping this is super exciting i have so many cool hair oils and then i have these this hair oil you can get these from the beauty supply store i just found out today marshall's tj max these are pretty popping i really like them and then my homemade oil yes ma'am and we got some oils down there and then i'm gonna go ahead and grab some more products and i'll be right back girl i 
I just went and got all these dang hair care products from my little uh, dresser over there because I didn't really have much space. I got some jojoba oil. And I have all these new hair care products that I bought on my recent blog. Super excited about all of this stuff. Actually, the tall products are going to go up here, which is perfect because there is space up there for the products. And then tubs like this can go down here, which is going to be super cool because I have like this hair mask. It can go right here. This spray, it can go up here because we got to be making room for the hair care, baby. We're getting on a, we have a whole new hair care journey. It's time before summer starts. We got to get ourselves together because when summer starts we want to be like fully together and we're not going to start it when summer starts we're going to start it right now so that we can get prepped for the summer to take little cute little pictures if you're a picture taker whatever you want to do make sure you're feeling good about yourself because let me tell you something when you look good you feel good Y'all already knew I picked up this detangler spray. It seems like I have a lot of sprays, which is okay because I love sprays. We got our Dew Grow. Oh, I forgot. We got some Eco Styler. So the Eco Styler can go in here as well. Dew Grow Detangler. Look at us. Yes, ma'am. I kind of feel like I want these to be back here, though. Like, I love the look of products. Like, I love the look of having a bunch of products. Like, it just looks super cute. Like, am I the only one? Like, look at all that stuff in my shower. Okay. And then look at all that over there. Okay. And girl, we have found that Eco Styler cream. Like, what is going on? So we're going to go ahead and put that on there as well. Girl, I'm a huge fan of Egyptian Musk. Egyptian musk smells super good. So I found this shea butter lotion in the scent Egyptian musk and it smells just like Egyptian musk. And y'all know I'm super big on baby powder scents and I found a baby powder body spray and it smells good. I don't like all baby powder scents, but I found that one and it actually smelled good. We got our other distributor bottle. I found the rice water moisturizing milk. I have not seen this anywhere. I found it by the new Mayo rice water line. I found it, girl. I found it at Sally's. Like I said, if you cannot find a certain product, go to Sally's. They will have it. Y'all know I be scrubbing the heck out of my feet and my toes. So I found this brush, which is going to be way easier. I found that at Sally's so I can just like scrub my toes. We don't want no odor. I'm going to go ahead and put this Design Essentials coconut and my noise stuff in here as well because it wasn't fitting in my little organizer in, the, in my bathroom. Room. I went and found the rest of my hair oil. So I have this coconut milk anti breakage like serum oil or whatever. My peppermint hair oil. I love this stuff. I got this from Marshalls. Burlington. I forgot Burlington sells these oils as well. This is honestly my favorite. This Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla. Once your hair dries, put this in your hair. It's going to make it smell good. And it's also going to give your curls a super shine and moisturize them. Castor oil. Coconut oil. Like the coconut oil mist. My girl Monica sent me this. It is the Imami, Imami 7 Oils in 1. This stuff smells so good, you guys. My hair was smelling popping after I got done using this. So I'm gonna go ahead and order a one off Amazon when I get done with it. Actually, I have two more. So I have a biotin oil, 99% natural pro growth premium hair oil that I got at Marshall. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. Oh, this is too tall. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. I mean, this can go down here. I got my Talia Wajid curly curl cream that I'm gonna go ahead and put in there as well. I have another floral aura scent booster I'm gonna go ahead and put in there as well. I have coconut hibiscus hair spray, whatever that I'm gonna go ahead and put in there. And I guess we'll call it a day for that. We're done with that. Okay, so I did open up one pack. Package. I just have not looked inside of it to see what it is because I still want it to be a surprise But I pre-opened it because they are pretty hard to open I am so excited because it's literally like Christmas and this is crazy. She sent me a Shahi Uptan face pack I don't really know what it is, but I already know it's gonna be bomb for the skin Everything that she has um, sent me so far I am in love with like not one thing I didn't like I haven't used everything yet But everything that I have used so far I have been loving a roll-on oil. It's what oh my gosh Is this like a fragrance oil? Oh, this is popping very strong. It is a gold biscuit gold biscuit perfume oil okay what is this i got an anti-mark um cream for my skin because y'all know i be dealing with all these dang uh, scars you know sandal face pack i got a neem face pack from her and it honestly is amazing neem conti body cleanser oh it's like a little bar soap turmeric cream girl what i have never heard nothing like this like i'm telling y'all new zealand has it going on she for real has really good taste in products clear skin soap oh my gosh and this brand that she keeps sending me this himalaya it's fire. Oh my gosh, I am super excited. Look how cool this looks. Like this is nothing that you're gonna find here. Pimple clear cream. Wow. I am so grateful for her sending me all these like acne products because y'all know you're gonna be struggling. Do not get me wrong. I am very consistent with my products. I do not switch out of like a what? Like a lot of products to where my skin is breaking out because of that. I'm very consistent. Glow Lab detoxifying charcoal body soap. Oh my gosh, Manuka honey. Yo, and these bar soaps she has been sending. Lemongrass and pumice, wait a minute. Because I am a very big fan of lemongrass. Le my mom and I love lemongrass, so that is super cool. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm trying to go through this pretty fast because, like, I don't want to hold you guys up too long like I did last time. Another roll-on. Wait a minute. Y'all know I love my perfume oil. She sent me another one. Wait a minute. I am very big on like masculine type of smells and this has like a pretty girly scent but also like a masculine type of cologne type of scent in with it. 
it is fire she sent me so much more bar soap you guys look at all this bar soap she sent me are you joking what is this a sandal face pack y'all the stuff that they have out there is like way better products than, than we have here because like the ingredients that are in these type of products are not as bad as the ingredients that we have here in our products like oh my gosh i love the protex soap that she sent me so she sent me two more icy cool and herb okay this is like full of bar soap and I love bar soap. Neem and turmeric soap. Wait a minute because this is the Himalaya brand. There are so many cool bar soaps in here, you guys. Like it's literally filled with bar soap. I'm going to have such a great time organizing these and putting these away and reading everything. Like I am so grateful. I'm about to go ahead and email her after I get in opening up this package. Wait a minute. She told me that she sent me something that wasn't going to be hygiene related. I'm going to go ahead and read her letter first because wow. Okay, so I read her letter off camera and I just love how when she sends something, she either emails me or like she just did she kind of sent me a letter letting me know what the products like what the products are and how they work and lets me know like how she uses them and she has great hiding tips like it's actually crazy like i love her hiding tips so when she emails me she lets me know like about the product and like how it works and how to use it how she uses it tips about the product so i really like that and i'm so grateful that i got another letter from her because emails are like amazing it's cool and everything but a handwritten letter means way more to me always will wait a dang minute this is crazy burger rings cheese and bacon flavored corn snacks what okay so let me tell y'all something about me i'm a very big snack eater when i'm studying and doing schoolwork or when i'm in class because it helps me focus these little individually wrapped snacks are going to get me right i am so excited i got mints okay wait a minute this girl didn't dare her thud. i've never seen this stuff that's why it's even more exciting because i feel like i've seen every single snack on the planet and i eat a lot of snacks when it comes down to studying i know it's probably not the best for my for like my skin and like my health and everything but you know, if it's gonna help me with studying or editing or anything, I'm gonna do it. Chocolate. Yo, Sour Patch Kids Mega Duos. Two flavors in one? This is nuts. What is this? <gasps> this is a huge, it's a variety pack of like pizza snacks, barbecue snacks, and mini chicken crimpy snacks. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out right now. Oh my gosh. More gum! Yeah, yeah! I am so excited, I love gum. Ugh. Mini mouthfuls of hokey pokey delight squiggles bites. Oh my gosh, girl! You don't understand how excited I am right now. This is this is honestly overwhelming because I'm so excited. I don't even I don't even know how to act. Like even when even opening the last package, like sometimes when I get like super excited, like I don't show it, but like I'm excited. Tim Tams. Oh my gosh, more twisties, y'all. This the oh my oh my gosh, crunchies. <gasps> By Cadbury, I love Cadbury. Cookie, yeah! Mini mix, creamy milk, hokey pokey, almond gold, peanut slab, tweets, 15 assorted mini slabs. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I think this is like chocolate over like pineapple lumps, which sounds like the best combination in the whole entire dang world. Is this coffee? Oh my gosh, it is, this is coffee. Oh my gosh, it's over, it's over, it's over you guys. It's over, I I'm a whole different person. Yo, she is making me addicted to New Zealand stuff. Like, this is crazy. Thank you so freaking much. Just by her saying that she loves seeing a smile on my face, opening up this stuff. Like, you don't hear that a lot with people. Like, I have a lot of haters, so sometimes when I get all this love, it kind of feels like it's unreal. Sometimes I open up an email or I open up a letter, and I'm waiting for all the good stuff to be said in the, at the end. Like, it's going to be a prank. Like, oh, screw you, I hate you. You know, like, I've gotten that sometimes. And it's like, sometimes I feel like it's unreal, but this is like honestly crazy and it's kind of overwhelming and I just can't believe that somebody actually cares this much to actually send me stuff like this and go out of her way to spend her hard earned money on something to send out to me and then keep up with watching my videos and then take the, take the time out to write a whole full letter and take the time out to email me, you know, and it's just like, it's crazy. Thank you so much. I'm about to go ahead and email her right now and then we gotta clean these bonnets. Okay, so I'm actually about to head out. I just got out of the shower and I washed my hair. I'm gonna have to explain it because I don't have it in my hand. Actually, I'll go grab it. I'll be right back. You know I got y'all. Okay, so I washed my hair and conditioned it. This is a mess over here, honestly. Like, I'm gonna have to reclean. I washed my hair with the Maya Rosemary Mint Strengthening Shampoo that I picked up on one of my recent videos. And this is a hair mask, but I use it to condition my hair. So I basically put it in my hair like a conditioner and just left it in for like the full 15 to 20 minutes. And it is the Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask. It just has like a minty smell to it. And so I have like the full line. I have 
have shampoo, the mask, I have the Rosemary Daily Styling Cream, and I have the oil. The oil is actually almost gone because I was using it in my night routine. I'm drinking some coffee right now. I drank some this morning before I got into class. But it's after school now, so it's been a minute, so I'm just going to drink my little last cup of coffee for the day. I'm using my little baby blue, what? baby blue comb that I picked up at the beauty supply store, and I'm about to go to TJ Maxx, you guys. I'm going to use this Restore and Repair Jamaican Black Castor Oil Water Spray for my hair to go ahead and like wet it real quick. The lighting was so bad, so I had to go ahead and turn it on. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use this Jamaican Black Castor Oil Water. What the heck? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and mist that all throughout my hair. I like to put like a spray in my hair before I put in a cream. Um, sometimes I get too lazy and I'm like, actually, no, I'm not. But today I am because I only do this like once a week on my wet hair because I only wash my hair once a week. So yeah. And then I'm going to go ahead and follow up with the My L routine with the Rosemary Mint Daily Styling Cream. And we're going to see how the results turn out because I've never used this product before. So I cannot say how my curls are going to turn out. Like I can't say how I like it. My favorite hair milk um, is the Mayo Avocado Hair Milk. You can get it at Target. It is the best stuff ever, at least for my hair type. Like it is fire. The best my curls ever look is when I use that product but I need to start like venturing off to different products so that I'm not just depending on one product to give me a result so I'm gonna try out this cream today and see how I like it after I get out of school and I don't really have anything to do I get really bored so sometimes I just go out and just grab a few things from the store come back and then just do whatever I need to do today actually tonight I need to go ahead and edit a lot because my mom and I are gonna be watching my baby cousin for a little while tomorrow and I'm not gonna have time to be editing while he's over here so I need to get it all done tonight so I'm probably gonna pull an all-nighter because I do have a half day tomorrow so i don't have to like be in school all day y'all see the length y'all see the length length check okay girl so i wanted to go ahead and say something real quick because i've been seeing a lot on tiktok how girls are talking about how oil is really bad for your hair and like you shouldn't be using oil in your hair and then i've seen other people saying like if it works for you it works for you do not let anybody tell you like what you can and cannot use on your hair and what's going to damage your hair if you feel like it's benefiting your hair and i totally agree with that person um i haven't had any problems with putting oil in my hair i've only seen benefits but like you can hear something that somebody says and kind of be like a little bit weary but like i know that it's doing good for my hair like i've never had a problem with it so yeah I used to use a gel on my hair after I got done putting in the cream, but I noticed that it made my hair like too flat and I don't really like that. I do like a lot of volume and my hair actually will not have volume if I don't shake it. I showed you guys how I shake my hair in my recent video. So I'm finally getting to know my hair. I don't really care about the hair type. Like I don't really care about like the 3B, 4A, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I don't really care about all of that and nothing's wrong with it. I think it's beautiful when you can figure out your hair type and like base everything off of that. But honestly, I don't really study. Like I don't really get into all that stuff. I just use what works for me and call it a day. I do kind of feel like there's a part of the natural hair community that's very toxic and then there's a part that's also very loving and welcoming and very sweet and wants to teach but then there's also a part of the natural hair community that's very mean and nasty and hateful and so like I don't even consider myself a part of anything you know I don't even know. I don't consider myself a social media influencer. I don't consider myself any of that you know I'm like a youtuber you know and I call it a day because I don't want to put myself in a category or a group. You kind of get what I'm saying like that is not so welcoming not so loving there's like a lot of drama and hate inside of it you know what I mean so I don't really do all that, you know? All right, we should be good. I need to drink the rest of this coffee, put some perfume on, and head out. I have these sweatpants on that I got from Walmart. If you keep with my videos, you already know this where I get all my, like, sweatsuits and stuff, like all my cute, cute sweatsuits. Okay, I actually do want to cover something really quickly. Girl talk real quick. Girl, stop comparing yourself to other people. Maybe it's not your time yet. You know, like, you can compare. I don't even want nobody comparing themselves to me. My story is not your story. Your story is not my story. You are okay. Just because you might not have as much money as somebody else doesn't make you any less. You might have a different dream. You might want something different in life. Stop letting the devil make you feel bad about your position in life. My my whole entire life I was miserable I was miserable until like just now like I literally have always compared myself to other people and I'm kind of getting emotional right now because I feel like I was never able to enjoy my life being myself because I was always comparing myself to other girls like oh my gosh their life is so much better oh my gosh their parents have more money or oh my gosh you know they have more money they have a nicer car they have all of this stuff like why and then when that comes in you start to blame God and it's like that's when the devil starts to really work he can work in a lot of different ways he can work to make you insecure about your looks he can work to make you insecure about your position in life you can work to make you feel insecure even about your house i never invited friends over my house because i just feel like you know i'm in the hood like i don't have a nice house i don't have a nice car like all of our stuff is like not nice like even if it's clean it's not nice so i never had anybody over my house because i always felt ashamed no this is a part of your story this is a part of your testimony you keep 
keep facing the Lord Jesus Christ and you're gonna look back and be like, you know what, I'm glad that I wasn't ashamed. You know what, I'm glad I embraced being in my position that I was in because it's not gonna be like this forever. And I can promise you that as long as you put the Lord Jesus Christ first. And I mean that with everything inside of me. If anything, let it motivate you in a positive way. Faith plays a big role in whether you are going to worry and be depressed or sad or not and whether you're just gonna live freely, no fear, face Christ and be happy and know that this is not gonna be forever. And let me tell you something, blessings are on their way. I always have to remind myself, the Lord Jesus Christ did not bring me this far to leave me. So there is more to come, baby. There's somebody out here that has it way worse than you. And I'm not saying that in a negative way. Like, girl, somebody out here, they have it way worse than you. I'm not saying that. I say this to myself all the time. Girl, you're complaining about your acne. Girl, you're complaining about your situation in life. Somebody out here is trying to figure out how they're going to feed their kids today. There are kids out here that have to work crazy amount of hours because their parents are disabled. And they got to make sure that those bills get paid. They can't even follow through with their college dreams. It doesn't matter your situation. Somebody out here has it way worse. But let me tell you something. Don't be negative. This isn't gonna last for long. You stay in prayer, you stay in faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, and let me tell you something. It is a guarantee that the Lord is going to prosper you. He is going to bring prospering and abundant blessings into your life. You just wait and see. I'm gonna go ahead and wear this Burberry Touch perfume today. It smells amazing. I be getting this junk at like Marshalls and TJ Maxx. It smells so good, but they do have it on fragrancenet.com. You can get it for actually a really good price. It smells so good. And I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys at TJ Maxx. Wow! Oh! Okay, so I'm in TJ Maxx, you guys, and I'm finding so many cool perfumes. I got the Glam, I mean, what? What happened? The Michael Kors Glam Jasmine. So I was right. Oh, it is right here. Yeah, I was you right. I got the Gucci Memoir. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. They have Burberry Brit Sheer that I also kind of want to try out. So I have three right now. It's honestly just a lot. It's just adding up, you guys. But I never really see them have this much perfume, like the kinds that I actually want. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab them because you guys know I have a perfume obsession. Genuinely cannot stand my hair when it's wet. It just looks so thin and just lifeless and flat. When it dries is when I be looking popping. I'm gonna tell y'all a little story time. So we didn't have much money back in the day. So they had like this Christmas thing where people would actually come and give gifts or whatever. So they delivered the gifts to our house and my mom and dad were divorced and I didn't want him with my mom anymore because he was just mad abusive so I they had gave me this coach poppy perfume and I had it it was my favorite perfume ever loved it so much it's very it, like it smells really good and he came over to our house and tried to like stay the night with my mom and I flipped out and I broke half of my stuff in my room I was like get the heck out of my dang house and he's like you're really gonna treat me like this and I was like heck to the yeah like you need to get out of my house like you're disrespectful like get out of my house you're not getting back with my mom you're gross and so I broke my coach poppy perfume on accident I had a shelf Full of perfumes and I went like this and like broke half of my perfumes I ruined a lot of my clothes like I ruined a lot of stuff that day almost broke my bed and I flipped out and he felt so stupid because I'm like bro you're not coming back to my mom like you're disrespectful you're rude so I don't have that perfume anymore which obviously I wouldn't have it anyway that was like six years ago but that's how I broke my coach poppy brand new perfume that the Christmas people gave me so yeah you guys I cannot stand how my hair looks when it's wet like it's just oh my gosh no ma'am they got the natural hair care section which I'm super excited about because y'all know I love my hair care so we're about to go ahead and see what we can find I'm excited they have some TGIN products which I love TGIN I want to try out this rose water curl defining mousse I've seen a girl with natural hair like beautiful big curly hair on TikTok I've seen her talking about this it's not focusing though come on camera they have all these cool hair oils but I literally have like all of them I wish they had the peppermint one because I really like the peppermint one but I'm not seeing it, so I'm not gonna get those because I already have those you guys already know that they have like all these super cool products that I'm like obsessed with because I love natural hair care like I'm just super obsessed with all this stuff right now you guys this almond milk stuff smells super good if you're trying to get your hair to smell good like if you're struggling with like like overall hair or, like scalp smell and trying to get your hair to smell good throughout the whole week if you only wash it once a week try this out put it on your scalp put it on your hair your hair is gonna smell amazing oh look at this curl enhancing styling pudding what is oh how much only $7.99 girl we're gonna pick this up look at this look at this body repair growth oil what is this y'all know i'm super obsessed with my growth oils jamaican black castor oil root repair growth oil i already have jamaican black castor oil though at the house oh what about this intensive repair mask it is a jamaican black castor oil intensive repair mask let me get out of the hair care section we've done enough hair care in this vlog y'all i just picked up this calvin klein medium sports bra it's really cute they're like way more comfortable than like the actual bras i cannot stand actual bras nowadays but i always like coming here because they always have like cute bralettes and underclothing and stuff so it looks like that product was actually a very heavy product so like it's starting to dry but it's still like very flat and I can feel it it's like actually kind of crunchy so I don't really know how I feel about it yet because it's not really giving me my volume it's actually like weighing it down and it became really crunchy I don't know yet I'm not gonna speak on it just yet but if you guys want your clothes to smell really good you guys get this downy intense I already told you guys about this on my how to smell good for 24 hours or how to smell good all day this junk will get you right your clothes will be smelling very strong very powerful and fire the best ever fabric softener I used to be on to snuggle and gain and stuff until I got hip to that downy intense girl get 
get you right because you're gonna be i'm telling you smelling fire you don't even need no dang perfume when you have that on i had put on my pajamas last night and i was like matter of fact i'm not even gonna put any perfume on because my clothes smell good enough you know so i just actually like scratched my face and my face is red right here i don't know that's bad. That's not really good, but it doesn't really matter. We're not even gonna focus on it. You know, let's act like it's not even there. Okay, so if you guys keep up my vlogs, I made like a big thing of detergent and it's actually lasting us a pretty long time. Wow. There's like a lot left, so I'm just gonna use that then and just keep using my Downy Intense. I'm telling y'all, my laundry be smelling popping from Downy Intense. Girl, get you right. I am not feeling this hair. Girl, what's going on? We're still popping though. We're still popping. This is the best body scrub in the whole entire world, you guys. You know, I rave about Tree Hut, but this right here is next, next level. If you want like a super deep scrub to last you for a while, get this. So you guys know I always talk about layering scents. I, Ariana Grande has like body sprays now. I have the Thank You Next one, very nice, but they have a cloud one. So when I go to wear the cloud perfume, I wear this underneath like my clothing and everything to layer the product. It's so good to layer a product. Like my mom and I went to Sally's the other day and the dude was like, uh-oh, hold on. What you wearing? It smells like really good. Somebody's wearing something and I'm like, oh, it's me. Thank you. This was the coconut eco gel I was telling you guys about that I have not been able to find. They actually have it here. So this is perfect for when I got to do my little slick back stuff. I wouldn't even bought the one that I got yesterday if I would have known that I would have seen this today. So yeah, and then I've been hip to scrunchies a lot lately. I love scrunchies. Scrunchies are great for holding curly hair. I just found, I got a bleach stain on my day. Oh, oh this it. this is what happened on my video, I remember. Right when it's time for me to go, I'm actually finding some really cool stuff. So this Lustrous Glow Soft Soap Body Wash smells amazing. And I guess it's in the scent Rose and Vanilla. I don't really smell like a strong rose scent though. It kind of smell like a fruity vanilla, but not even like a vanilla, it's just like a really fruity body wash. It smells fire the packaging's good then i'm seeing that they have these suave luscious curls luscious curls and they don't have like many ingredients like it's like little to no ingredients i don't see any bad ingredients in it either so i'm thinking i should try this out and then my favorite co-wash is this head and shoulders co-wash this junk smells so good it'll have your hair smelling popping best co-wash ever look at this dude you feeling me i'm filming you whatever. yeah whatever yeah 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 look at this dude <laughs> look you've been having a camera on me Show your new camera. I, I get from the camera. Show your new camera from the camera. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, look at this. What y'all gotta get? Folks. If y'all want some real video quality cinematic, this is what we do. You know what I'm saying? Cinematic. We're doing things different levels like that. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, God take it higher. You know? Look, uh, uh, uh. Facts though. Facts though. Facts though. Facts. 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 I'm gonna use these inside of my coffee that I've been making. This little cold brew, unsweet. This looks like it'll be really strong. So I'm gonna try this out. It's two dollars, so it better be strong. Shoot, two dollar ninety eight cents. I'm gonna put some of this inside of my coffee and make like a little mixture because i am actually running out of coffee even though i literally just bought it but every single time i say i'm about to leave and i'm done I'm not actually done so i'm actually gonna go to the coffee section now you see all them iced coffees on tiktok they be making uh-uh man they be up in the millions of views i'm like man maybe the coffee might be sold out too okay so i am finally back from walmart these are like my hair results okay so what i am kind of noticing is i was actually really mad about how short my hair looks now when i when it's curly but that means that my curls are becoming more defined because the shrinkage you know but i do not like the results of this product if i were to use less i probably would like the results they are so defined though you guys like my hair is very healthy and pretty but it's just very flat because and crunchy because it's so heavy for my hair and it has like the effect of a gel but my mom was actually like you know it's not a bad it's not bad because like as the days go on your hair will become more full and have more volume so you know but i'm just not the biggest fan of it i think it's pretty but like it's not my type of curls i like for my curls to be out more but it's not bad you know they're pretty at least my curls are healthy look at this romper like outfit that i got for the summertime it has like more loose bottoms and it's like this it's so cute. I'm about to look popping in that. Okay, with my curls. Okay, get a nice little tan. These underwear look just like the underwear that I get from Victoria's Secret. Literally the same exact underwear that I get. Same material and everything. My favorite underwear from Victoria's Secret. They just look so good on. They're high-waisted. They're stretchy. I got the Calvin Klein sports bra. I got that stuff that I showed you guys that I got for my hair. Okay, okay, okay. I have seen this bottle before. This is the bottle, you guys. All right, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Okay, this is not for everybody. It has a very like natural earthly kind of smell to it. A little bit of a musk and like a green tea type of scent as well. It's like a herbal musk. It definitely smells good. Um, When I'm done with it, I don't think that I would repurchase it though. But it definitely smells good. I'm glad that I got it, you know. We'll see. You know, the packaging is not really surprising. It's cute, but it's not like anything surprising because I have so many perfumes that look like this. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I got it. Smells a lot like Versace Bright Crystal. I was like, wait a minute, do I already have the perfume? No, I have the Sexy Blossom, which smells... Oh my gosh, it's so strong. Girl, get you some. And it's almost gone, so I'm really sad about it. Okay, let's go ahead and smell it. Um, Where am I gonna spray it? Somewhere that I haven't sprayed anything. Okay, I actually... No. That actually does not smell good at all. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. It smells like sick breath. Like, it smells like when people are sick and they have, like, that nasty, like, garlicky type... This smells disgusting. 
Let's keep going on because I'm gonna get upset just thinking about it. Because I hate when I buy a perfume, like a blind buy, and it smells disgusting. So let's keep going because I'm really mad about it. I found Taki Fugo meat sticks for $2.50 at Walmart. I already showed you guys everything. Like I showed you guys the suave shampoo and conditioner, like the luscious curls. I found this skin Timid lemon orange and cedar wood scent shave cream. Never seen this. And I love trying new, new shave creams. I got this lustrous glow body wash. I haven't used soft soap in so long, but I love soft soap. Eco, my favorite fabric softener in the whole entire world. When I tell you, you will never regret buying that. It's the best ever. Like my clothes smell so amazing. I was so obsessed with smelling my clothes last night. Floral aura for my hair. It makes my hair smell so good. I already have like four of those. I mean, I have like three of them right now. Every single time I see a bottle, I have to pick it up. My favorite favorite co-wash it makes your hair smell so good the head and shoulders co-wash i got an energy drink and that's everything like i know a lot of people are going to be like girl you need to stop drinking a light and caffeine this and this and that baby i do a lot in a day like i do a lot that i do a lot that i don't even tell you guys about like when i tell you i come with my a game like i'm not here to lose i'm here to win that's how i feel about school and like, i'm actually like a pretty competitive person so when it comes down to something i have to think about it like okay okay let's go let's go hard because there is no other way out that's how i look at life if you don't go hard in everything you do you're gonna get the the crumbs baby we're not here for crumbs so whatever you're doing in life do the best that you can because no we're here to win we're not here to lose and that's just what it is if i don't get up and be productive in a day do not get me wrong i try to at least have one rest day a week it's very hard but i try to have one day where i do nothing but chill all day i have a very hard time not being productive and doing something so i'm like always doing something and y'all it's been a week since i got my lashes done when i tell you no lashes have fell out I, like one little lash fell out i did not get them wet for like five days girl the best decision i ever made usually i get them wet after 24 hours no ma'am i'm not getting them wet for like a full week next time too i got this cute little shirt at target the other day look at me just stop i'm not gonna stop you guys like my cheap little charm braces i got Anyway, sis, I love you. God bless you in the mighty power of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I got to go ahead and get my test done. And I got to go ahead and get some editing done. But I love you, girl. Have a great day. Please take my word for what I said earlier because let me tell you something. I mean every single thing that I said because I'm like a big sister, like a best friend to y'all. And I try to be because I always needed that growing up. That's why I be trying to be real with y'all. That's why I be trying to help y'all with hygiene because the biggest things I struggled with growing up was hygiene and not having like nobody to talk to or like to relate to. That's why I be telling y'all like I see a lot of people from my past. They love to be hating on me. They be like, don't fall for her trick. She's not a Christian. She used to be doing this and that back in the day. Baby, I already told them that. So what are you saying? You're not saying anything new. That's why I told you guys what I used to do in my past, how I was, how I was a hood rat, ratchet, you know, it's not really classy. I already told y'all that. So if somebody likes to come up from my past, yes, I am a Christian. And guess what? That's why he used Paul. Just like saw change in the Paul, Jesus Christ came and changed my name. I'm not the old Chloe. It's just a testimony. Like I can show you guys like well, how I used to be and how I am now is because of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's it. People don't want to hear you judging them and telling them what to do if they feel like you don't understand what they went through. If they feel like you can't even relate. No, baby girl, I didn't went through it. So that's why I'm telling y'all how I got out of it and how I for real had to just cut people off. Y'all, I'm done with you because look, we, I can't mingle with you no more. I love you to death. If anything, if it came down to it and you needed something, I got you. But I got to keep my distance because baby, we're not, we can't. And don't get it twisted. People from my past have tried to come into my life and I always feel bad because I'm like, I don't want to feel like I'm fake. And I was called fake, two-faced, turn my back on people. But no, I had to do it for myself and I do not regret it. And every single year I get stronger. Every single day I get stronger. Girl, I'm rambling. I love you. God bless you in the mighty power of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I cannot wait to talk to you guys in my next video. Go ahead and hit me up with some emails, like a video idea on my email. And I'm going to go ahead and go.